everybody, it's Lunari here and welcome to Utterly DIY. So this is a first of four videos, uh, the last two are going to be in the same video. So today we're going to be first making the Moogle Sweet Jar. So for this craft you're going to need a mason jar, a gold chocolate coin and different treats to put into the jar. So the jar itself I got from, I believe it was the range, it was like one pound, and all the treats I got were just from Poundland and Tesco, so they're relatively cheap ones. So you're just going to fill up the jar, layer it up however you like, and then in the top I'm just placing some of the small Toblerones. Now in doing this I was actually surprised by how well they fit, but it just made a easier placement for the straw to go through as you can see. And I chose these coloured treats just to kind of try and match uh, the colour of the Moogle. So next you're going to need some PVA glue, paintbrush, scissors, black pen, glitter and a glue gun. We're going to start by marking each side of the mason jar just so you can see whereabouts it is that you um, want to start drawing the base for the Moogle. And we're going to begin by drawing the eyes for it. Now you can do this in any design that you like. After that, you're going to draw the nose just underneath. Once done, you're just going to fill in the eyes. I'd suggest doing this before you cut the eyes out, um, just to make sure that you fill in all the areas and that it doesn't get as messy afterwards. Once those are done and cut out, you're going to get your PVA glue and put some either onto the paper just so you're not wasting too much or you can just get something else entirely up to you. I'd say use a generous amount of PVA glue when you're putting it onto the nose um, for the glitter to stick to. I didn't do enough and it did start to fall off over time. I find that if you do some extra then it doesn't come off as easily. And onto the glitter! You can use any colour that you want, I'm using more of a pink, but of course you can go as colourful as you like with this. And then just shake off the glitter and this should be the after. Now it's time to put the face onto the actual jar itself. Using the glue gun, I'd say just put some glue wherever you want to put the nose and the eyes, obviously doing it one by one. So starting with the nose, I have just put some glue in the middle of the mason jar and pressed the nose onto it. And now onto doing either of the eyes. I found this easier so you just don't burn yourself is to, um, when you need to add any more glue, just get some scissors and press down the edges. I found that I burned myself quite a lot if I didn't do this. And then once the second eye is on as well, you can really start to see this craft come to life. I'm just going to pretend that's stuck down. I did stick it down properly afterwards. Next you're going to need the straw from the mason jar and a gold coin. And this is where we're going to make the um, mug palm for this one. Now you can use anything else, like uh, you could use, um, you can get a giant lollipop. You can always do that. Or you can use any kind of thing to make the palm really. Now we're moving on to the ears. So what I did here was just draw a square for how big I wanted the ears to be and then I folded the card in half and then cut out the two squares just so I could get them sort of evenly around the same size. And um, we're just going to throw that because apparently we didn't want that anyway. And now I'm just folding one of the small squares in half. So this is going to be one of our ears, so we're going to draw the shape of the ear itself and at the bottom you're going to need to draw just a small line, so here is where we're going to be folding it afterwards and you'll see why later on. Now what I'm doing is just putting the two cards side by side, so 
The part that we're going to fold later on, I want it to be roughly about the same size. Um, you can use as much space as you like for it, but of course, as said, you will see the reason why we're doing this. Now with the line that you've drawn, I wouldn't include that as part of the size of the Mughal ear, so I wouldn't draw it too high. So the line that I've drawn, um, the curved line, will be what the ear actually is. And then we're just going to cut that out. Once you've cut out both the ears, you're going to bend across where the line is on the piece of card. So this is the part that we're actually going to stick to the jar itself. And you'll see where you've bent it um, down the middle, there's a small line which you're going to cut like so. Now onto the detailing itself, you can use anything for this, so you can use some more glitter if you want to. I've just gone with basic um, a felt tip pen to draw the ear on instead, so the detailing for the inner ear. Now onto sticking it onto the jar itself. Now as you can see what we did earlier where we had that cut, this is how we're going to do it so that we can actually curve the ear itself. You can stick that in place with either glue or you can use cello tape like I have done. And then again you can use cello tape or glue to stick it to the jar itself. And this will look like when both ears are in place. You can add some little details like um, I have done here if you like. It's entirely optional. This could be used for kind of Christmas or birthday, however you want to do it. So yeah, that's how to make a Moogle jar. And I was so happy with this creation. It was so cute and I really loved doing this. So yeah, thank you for joining me for this video. And sorry if I sounded a little bit off towards the end of it. I am. Um, it's seven in the morning, so I'm very tired. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop editing this now. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to follow me on Instagram, that'd be great. And if you want to tag me in any of my creations that you do, you're more than welcome. I'd love to see them. Um, so yeah, like and subscribe, please. And I hope you have a wonderful day. And see you in the next video. Bye.